big offensive games from both BJ and Ahmad. BJ would chime in 28 and Ahmad with a solid 24. But the real story of this game was the defense keeping JMU to shooting 29% for the game. Coach Jones was worried about the team coming out sluggish because practice was not up to the tempo that it was used to. On Thursday because of the bomb scare was uh, very disjointed to say the least. Um, and even though we did get a chance to practice, um, you know, it was, it was kind of sluggish. Uh, and, and, and I think that kind of led into to, to yesterday. BJ started off hot, so um, I think that's what got us going offensively. Um, I think our defense is very solid um, every game, to be honest. Uh, we make some mental mistakes sometimes, but that's just come with an unexperienced team. But I think for the most part, we, we um, play defense good. He, um, he reiterated to us that every game in the schedule is important. And no, no game on schedule is more exciting or more important than the other. So we came to this game just as focused as we were against VCU, just as focused as we will be against a big name, Syracuse, you know. The Marks have won two out of the three games of Rivalry Week. Now they're looking until next week for the last one against William and Mary. But the odd thing is that's right in the middle of finals week. These student athletes are gonna have to buckle down and get two victories, not only on the court, but in the classroom, we'll see if they can do it. <laughs> Armel Styles from WODU Sports. If you don't remember anything else, stay mellow.